join joining us today so today I'm preparing fermented bell peppers red bell peppers um, this is a this is an Armenian version of making the fermented bell peppers my um, and this um, particular way we only make the red bell peppers not the green ones so um, I grew up my mom we always used to make this and um, today I wanted to make some for ourselves um, we really like this um, and my you know George really loves it and it's go it goes the flavors goes really well with the rice potatoes or you know really anything especially this time of a season most more so than other times and so um, I kind of like having that um, around this just goes really well with you know everything that I prepare at home so and, and I decided to film this because you know it might uh, might be something for everyone and if you guys like to try it please do it's delicious absolutely delicious so I prepared my ingredients already here um, I have um, just the regular uh, red bell peppers and I already coated them I, I took out all the cores with the seeds um, I removed all of that so now now I have them basically quartered, um, so and I left one to do it uh, to, uh, to uh, prepare it with you, just so you can see how I am doing it. So basically, you know, everybody has a way to do it. It's it's not anything particular. You do the way you usually or normally do, but this is how I just kind of go with my knife like that, and basically remove the core and then I kind of clear out a little bit of the veins because I really don't want the veins to be there because uh, the reason is because all the seeds are also attached to it so I remove all of these things from inside make that you know make it nice and beautiful like that I clear out everything okay and then I basically am going to um, slice right in the center make it two pieces and then you know clean up anything that you don't you know it just sticks out and it's just not pretty I would remove it like that then um, I will just cut this in half again okay so I have two pieces and another two pieces so four pieces from one red bell pepper. So this goes into my kitchen compost because this will go into my garden compost. <laughs> and all of, I don't know if you guys seen my compost video, check it out if you're interested. But I have a huge compost set up, which actually I'm hoping after I get this done, we can go and I can harvest my compost for the season and start over because my compost bin is getting really full and I need to um, get, uh, get that emptied out because I have it's a leaf season and during this season I have uh, lots of lots of things to go in there again and gets full very quickly and I don't want to waste anything anyway let's return to the red bell peppers um, so I have garlic Salary and I have already prepared my parsley. I removed all the stems and um, uh, you know I, I left them just the you know delicate ones like that. It's okay, but I removed the the big stems. And I have salt. I have a little bit of sugar, apple cider vinegar, water. I have four bay leaves, and I have olive oil here. So. And I wanted to show you just a little bit of everything how I do this. Um, a celery, I've already chopped most of it just to save time, but I left a few just so I can chop it uh, with you just so you know how I do that. And basically for these um, uh, wider areas, I just kind of split a little bit and then I chop them because that way they're a little proportional and they're not really big like that. And in fact, I wanted to also address that I was reading an article just recently, um, and the new studies came up that uh, uh, it came up about um, fermented food, 
And uh, they said that if we incorporate fermented food with our, uh, you know, daily meals, uh, it actually is very um, uh, healthy for our digestive system because it helps us uh, to break down our food a lot better and faster. For and it just it's a lot healthier. So. There it is. I don't know. You do what you want with that information, but uh, I read about that, and I, you know, but I actually really like it. So, so I chopped my parsley. I'm sorry, my uh, celery, and then I just split again. And again, you can cut any way you want. This is not. This is how I do it. But you definitely do it the way you like to do it. Uh, there's no specific way to cut them. Okay, and then one more. Okay, this is my salary. Then I have uh, garlic, and garlic I left a couple of pieces here just so I can show you how I'm slicing them. I basically just peel them and I slice them maybe about one, maybe three. If they're bigger pieces, then I would slice three. If they're super big, like this one is a little small, so I would just go right in the middle and make it two pieces like that. This one is even thinner, but I'll still slice because they, really, they it releases... Um, the flavor uh, when we slice them much better. So, um, and you know, I use a lot of garlic. Uh, they, um, I probably won't use all of it. We'll see how much the peppers are. I just have to go accordingly. And I will post the recipe. You, you can adjust it the way you want. Um, if any of you guys don't like garlic and it's too strong for many of you, you can, you know, just eliminate the meat the garlic or you can um, add a little bit you know it's it's up to your taste but garlic makes it really good so anyway uh, now I'm going to chop my parsley so parsley I already washed them and basically just removed the big stems so I'm going to take that right here and I'm going to chop the parsley on my cutting board Okay, and then I'm going to take my knife. Oops, not this one. Okay. 
Okay, so um, we are going to prepare our marinade. So I already started my just a small pot here. I'm not. These are only six bell pe uh, six peppers. So I'm not. You know, I don't have a lot. I'm just making uh, just a small batch in my just a small pan. So I have two cups of water. And um, one cup, I'm using just one cup of apple cider vinegar. I will uh, post the videos for you, so you can use the way you want. I don't have a lot, so I'm not using too, I'm making, not making too strong of a um, marinade. I hope this will come through. Oh, here we go. And I'm making it easy and I'm going to use just one cup of oil. It's, the recipe requires 10 ounces. Uh, and 10 ounces is just a little above, uh, a little over the one cup, so um, I'm just going to use one cup. And I left the window open a little bit because, you know, it's uh, apple cider vinegar really um, has that strong vinegary flavor or sand all around the house. <laughs> but it is what it is. It, the end product of matters and it's amazing. Okay, so that's that. We have, um, I have four bay leaves and for the bay leaves you guys need to always make sure to wash them too before you put them in there. Okay, so I have three tablespoons of salt that goes there. Okay, and then um, uh, and um, the uh, recipe requires five tablespoons of sugar. I will do four. Okay. So then I have peppercorns and pepper. I think is this a peppercorn? No, that's a red pepper. Can see. Okay, so my water is boiling with the oil and vinegar. I'm going to add a little bit of a peppercorn there. Maybe um, I think it's like one teaspoon. To what the recipe requires. And um, then I'm going to add just a couple of garlic in there for the flavor. And just a few po uh, celery pieces. So it just brings up really good uh, flavor. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, just give it a good stir. Stir it really well to dissolve all the sugar and the and the salt. In, in our I don't know if it's called brine or but it's a basically a marinade. If you can see that, it looks really good. So now we are going to add our red bell peppers. So here we go. One, two, I think we can add a few here. This is so delicious. You guys have to try it just at least to see what it tastes like, but it is really good. Okay, so I'm going to let this cook until it softens, you know, quite a bit. So I'm going to cover for just a few minutes and let it simmer a bit. And I'll prepare something to take that out in. Just put them here. It doesn't take very long. It just takes maybe, I don't know, um, eight minutes or so. 
for the peppers to soften. I have few plants that I have to plant. I'm really excited. I've been loading my garden with hydrangeas. I'm really excited for next year because in the, for next spring be, or summer because um, I have quite a few paniculatas that I planted this season and it's going to be amazing when they start maturing and, um, and uh, flowering. Um, I, I have lots of hydrangeas. I love hydrangeas, as many of you guys know. But um, paniculatas like sun, so I'm actually able to plant few sunny spots through our garden to, for them to flourish. I'm really excited about it. So I have two more hydrangeas that I have to plant and one that rhododendron. Hopefully, we'll see if we have time today after getting my compost done. Hopefully, we can. If we, have, if we don't have time, I will just have to plant them in my next video. Okay, so we are uh, we have all our peppers ready. So I uh, I was telling you that it's going to take about eight minutes, but George actually said that it's it, it was more like 15. So just keep that in mind. But you can see how beautiful they are. Look at these peppers, you guys. Isn't this so appetizing? And they um, you can see the texture. It kind of it's a bit soft. You can kind of roll them. You can see. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Not not really smashed and really really soft like mushy but it's you know it still has a good flash that it's holding but it's very flexible already like that you see how it bends so this is what it's going to be like so now we are going to assemble our um, uh, our peppers but this is where I want to go ahead and assemble because I'm going to keep it in a refrigerator I don't usually make big portions because I want to finish it so it doesn't sit too long and uh, and this has a cover I can just cover it um, I was also going to mention that you know for any of you want to give you know homemade gift or something during holidays you could also make them in a small jars because it, when I assemble it, you'll see how beautiful it looks. You know, if you want to give away, it's a kind of a nice homemade gift, you know, in a way. So that's just a suggestion. Anyway, so I have celery first and a little bit of a parsley, a few garlic, like that. And then I'm going to stack my peppers. that and layer them with celery a little bit of a parsley some garlic cloves and again it's just kind of mix it a little bit so they you know the parsley gets on all the pieces like that okay and then and then we just add more And it smells wonderful. I know um, the apple cider vinegar is, you know, it's strong. But honestly, when you turn off the heat and it all comes down, it, it has such an amazing, uh, appetizing smell to it, to the peppers. It's really awesome. Oh, wow. It's been not not hard to make at all, but it's really delicious. Oh.
Isn't this so beautiful? Look at this. How can you not like that, this dish? And our last peppers will go on top. And you can um, you make sure to press it down too. It's not a problem. They're, you know, soft and no worries there. Like that. Here we go. When my mom used to make them, I all I loved this always so much. So I, when I moved to, to France, I actually had time. I started connecting to the, you know, my Armenian roots a little more, and because uh, I remembered certain things from childhood that, uh, or when I was young, that I, you know, I kind of didn't make any at all when I was in the U.S. And so. I was like, I really need to connect with some Armenian friends and try to find some of the things, how they make them. And so I'm kind of really excited to have time to, um, to be able to make these beautiful dishes. And I'm actually really excited to share with many of you because, you know, this is new probably for many. We always have our traditions and our traditional things, but sometimes it's fun to try something different and to experience something different. It's a creative process. And if anything you see that it inspires you and it's appetizing, please don't hesitate to try them. They're very delicious. Okay, so look how beautiful this is. Look how gorgeous it looks. It has my our garlic, parsley and everything and our red bell peppers awesome so now what I'm going to do is basically um, uh, add our marinade to the red pepper, pepper mixture so I actually will remove the bay leaves first okay and then everything else I'm going to add Okay, and press it down good. Voila, this is amazing. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this. This one, I think I must have. Oh no, it's together. It's fine. Okay. Okay, and um, our fermented red bell pepper is ready. Look how beautiful this looks, even from the outside. And you can serve this at your holiday table. You know, you can take the peppers out, serve them on a platter, you know, uh, along with your mashed potatoes, uh, along with, uh, you know, certain dishes that you have. And or just, you know, make this and put them in a the refrigerator. You can just leave, you know, a day or two and it will be ready to be eaten. And um, so, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm very excited. I love making this. So here we go, I can just cover it like that. And as I said, you can also make them in the jars if you like. And um, for now, I'm going to let it sit on a counter to cool down a little bit. And then in the meantime, I think I'm going to, do, to go to the garden and get my compost figured out because I have so many leaves outside. I have to go clean and I have nowhere that I can, um, you know, compost them. I really don't want to waste anything. So let's go outside and go and check out my compost and see what's going on. And then I will come back and get this done in just a few minutes. So I'll meet you outside. So, hi everyone. I'm back, back outside in my compost area. So this everything pretty much out of the garden gets processed okay the leaves any all the cuttings all the deadheadings food everything just basically kind of goes through here and then i use it throughout the year planting my flowers or adding to the soil and um, anyway any way i can use them i do and so in this this container i usually keep it for extra leaves because this time of a year we have lots of big trees and we collect a ton of leaves during this time so anything I can fit into my main composter which is this one I add it here and then either they you know they stay and become like a leaf mold or I keep if I don't have enough uh, carbon for my compost during the summer I just keep adding the leaves from here to the compost to break down the greens anyway so uh, last year a couple of days ago I came here and last year's 
uh, leaf mold actually turned out really, really nice. So I transferred all the leaf mold that was already ready into this compost. So this is where I put all my um, ready harvest into this compost. And so, um, and then I started adding more leaves here because I don't have any room in my main composter. So I've been, we've been adding so much stuff. You can see this is completely full, but I don't want to turn this because underneath this, it, the compost is actually needs to be harvested. So what I want to do is um, take out and harvest as much as compost as I can, and then I can add more. And actually, I can start turning and adding water to it to start breaking it down. And hopefully, I can have ton of stuff. In here for the during the winter time and maybe do another harvest in May so that's kind of how I harvest like twice a year it sounds like that's kind of how it has been working out so far so um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this back actually for now and then and I need to ask Josh to help me to fix this because um, it's kind of tipping a little bit on the other side just because we're the location I think we made it even as much as we can but it's saddled a bit more so anyway we'll see what this looks like here this I don't want to take out this one needs to stay. So this, this is the one I want to take out. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> this is not the cleanest job, I'm tell, I tell you, but it's all worth it in the end. It's like, it's kind of, uh, but for the garden, this is amazing. Here, look what it looks like. So it looks like about this much of it, it's already ready to take to be taken out, you see? So it's breaking down. These ones I'm not going to take, I, I might, and then just let it be, continue composting in the, in the other one. But this one clearly needs to come out. So we'll dig into it and see, and see what we find there. Look at that. Now that's, that, this is a really good compost. Look at this. So many worms, my word. So. So anything that is half done, I'm still going to take out. Oh, it's warm. It's really warm, the temperature wise. So it's been cooking, which is awesome. So oh, this one's I don't want. And then I'm going to put this in here and it will still continue composting. So not a problem. And if, honestly, even if I have to add into the flower bed, just like this, even with half done, it's still, it's really good. Good stuff here. So I'm going to throw this. You see the smoke coming out? Mm -hmm. 
It's been cooking. <laughs> you see that? <gasps> I'm so excited. Look at this compost. It's so warm. I'm so happy to harvest because I, I was almost out. Really needed more. Okay, I don't want to dig too much anymore. I think this is all I can have for now. And then press it down. And see. Actually, this I think I'm going to take with me for Okay, 
Okay, so I mix this well. I think I need to go ahead and bring some water down, put a little bit here after I bring more leaves. I'm going to uh, put a little more water and uh, to, I think it's quite dry. So although I left it open because I knew it was going to rain to get it moist, but it's not enough. And so I'm, it, it, it's a little wet, but not much. So I'm going to put a little bit, mix them. I'll put a little bit here, mix them, and this will still continue composting all winter because I don't have a lot of things to plant, probably. But anyway, I will continue still composting. This one I'm going to take up with me because I have a few things that I have to plant, and I think I can use this for planting up there. In the meantime, I need to open this to see what's going on. Hopefully press this down. And it's not going down too much, is it? This also needs water. It's quite a bit here. I might be able to harvest. I need to get on this side. Aha. Uh -huh. Insects are working very hard here, you guys. All right, I need to dump this one, I think. Oh, this tree. Let's see if I can get this behind me.
Oh! <laughs> oh my word! I've been looking for this tool forever. I'm so happy. Apparently, it's been composting in my compost. <laughs> No. In one point I will just to have but Look at this compost you guys. Look at this. This is amazing. I'm so excited. This is a messy work, but it's incredibly rewarding. I never thought I'd be so excited about compost until I started making compost. We need to cut some of this so I can... And thank you for my great friend, local friend Lila, who has helped me to get this compost started. She was on me so many times, you need to start composting. And I went ahead and uh, she helped me to get the bench, she helped me to start this compost. 
and uh, I'm so grateful to her because honestly I don't know if I would have had the motivation without her pushing me to get this compost going and I'm really excited I did so really thankful to her I have to bring it close so you guys can see this look at this compost you guys Isn't this awesome? Look at all the worms. Anyway, back to work. Okay, I think this is plenty. Okay, I'll just leave the rest and then I'll harvest the rest in the spring.
so after harvesting the compost I have almost about here so I have about here and so this will also still keep composting and anything that it have composted inside kind of like this one it will just keep composting for a while and it's actually going to go down a little more but I will have plenty to use you know by spring if I'm planting things or throwing into the garden beds for the nutrients and uh and I'll just keep adding. So this one will be ready again probably in May. So I'll harvest again. And so I have twice a year harvest. And I keep rotating all the time. So, all right. Now we go back. Okay, guys, I'm up here. So that was a lot of work <laughs> to get done. Uh, but it's it was amazing. As I said, I have amazing compost here. You can see, so I have a few things to plant, but we are running out of time, and that was a lot of work. I think I will uh, wrap up the video um, for, for this video, and, um, uh, and we'll start another video when I start planting and doing some full maintenance. So um, thank you so much for watching, and thanks for sticking around to all that dirty work that I was doing. But um, have a wonderful week. Thank you very much for all the subscribers. And again, if you guys like my videos, please subscribe. And uh, these are all free for you, but it does help us to grow our channel. So um, anyway, have a wonderful week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.